I'm Robert Brinkerhoff. I'm an illustrator. This is a really beautiful ivory diptych, very delicately carved. One of the most unusual things about it, perhaps in the contemporary sense, is that even though it's a narrative and it's a sequential narrative, the reading starts from the bottom left and then moves to the right and then takes the upper two registers left to right. The diptych traces the narrative of the intertwined lives of Christ and his mother, the Blessed Mother, from the Annunciation in the lower left, and then up to the upper right, the Last Judgment with Christ in heaven. So there's the Annunciation in which uh, Mary's receiving the news, then she's uh, reclining on the birth bed with Christ on the floor uh, below her. And then in the background, one of the most unusual pieces of the carving is what appears to be, because it, it seems to be floating in the sky, it appears to be clouds with all kinds of characters weaving in and out. But in fact, that's a group of hills, and those are shepherds and their flock moving in and out of the hills behind her. Moving from the lower left to the lower right, you see two snouts of what are actually camels entering from the left and there there's a groom there uh, with a whip uh, attempting to keep them in line and then to the right of that you see the three kings visiting Mary and Christ after birth and then you move up to the upper left and you see Christ on the cross and the mourners uh, of the crucifixion and one of the more interesting transitional elements is the figure who appears to be mourning and turning away from the scene serves really wonderfully as a pointer uh, to Mary's coronation which is on the right hand side of that panel. You see Mary and Christ seated on thrones in heaven and he's placing a crown on her head. In the upper right you see the entire top portion of that panel dedicated to the Last Judgment, but below that you'll see the smallest figures in the carving, and they are souls rising from the dead to heaven. This is illustration. It tells a story with a message, and it does that by guiding us sequentially through the pictorial subject matter and towards some communicative purposeful end. 